Welcome to how to control permissions for specific operations. Hey, I'm Eric, and um, in Business Central we have permissions. We have user group, we have permission sets, and, and they are kind of, you know, the granularity we can get down to is a single object. Uh, but quite often I have seen, you know, customizations that helps to control access permissions whatever word we want to use to very specific operations um, and a lot of time i think the way this is done can actually be done better especially the way that business central is put together now let me let me show you what i'm talking about so here is the business central and uh, and the the pattern i have seen way too often is that uh we have our users and and a user this is just me in this one uh you know user have groups and and user have permission sets but that is not all right if i go into user setup then we have the other user setup which is one is a, well one is a technical user setup the other is an accounting user setup um and we got allowed posting to and from and all that good stuff in here. Um, let me just make sure that you guys can actually see this. Um, and, and we have, you know, is this user a timesheet admin? And I think, and this pattern right here is the one that I think is bad. Uh, I think this is a... Um, this is something that Microsoft did at some point, uh, and and now we have a better way of controlling stuff like this. The, what I've seen, the, the typical customization is saying that, oh, but you somebody should only be allowed to run a specific operation uh, or something. Like that. So so you get you go into uh, into this table, and we add a boolean saying is allowed. And then we, in the code, we check if this flag is set, and then we will do, we'll do the process. Nothing isolated wrong with that. As you can see, Microsoft are doing it themselves. But um, what could be cool, and what I think is 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 better way, is to use a uh, is to use a permission set for it. A permission set without any objects associated with it. A permission set with the only purpose of specifying that somebody can do something specifically um, and the reason I have kind of um, you know reached that conclusion is partly because we have this guy configuration um, which the saying that when a new user comes on board and the new user comes with a whatever license they come with we define what permissions they should have um, and with that uh, we also were at so rumor has it that that we have our user groups and and user groups will uh, will get linked into ad groups at some point so uh, a user group also has permission so there's a lot of things that points to permissions as being the the thing um, so I suggest that instead of adding the boolean we just do this on permission sets let me show how that can be done uh, I think I have a uh, have something here yeah here is a uh, newly created extension and just deployed it to make sure that I did not have anything that was blocking. So let's say this is the customer list. And for some reason, it's the customer list that right now we're just pretend, pretend, pretend that that is the, no, actually let's do something else. Sorry, I, I am changing my mind. Uh, let's create an action on, um, on the customer list. Um, at first uh, in processing. We're not in promoted, but in processing. That's how we fly. Create an action, um, and we'll call this action one because apparently I have no imagination today. 
Uh, only for the few. Um, application, one of the version of your application area, all. Um, trigger on action. Message, hello. Here's a great action. So let's deploy this and make sure that this works the way I thought it would work. So I have access to the customer list now. Uh, somewhere here in actions, we have uh, only for the few. I hit that, that works for me. I do not want this to work for me because I am not one of the few. So what I can do here is, and, and this can be wrapped in, 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 in a nice code unit and stuff like this, but, uh, but war, <laughs> war. Uh, let's create a variable of the type called access control. So this is a table, this is a table that holds the permission sets. And um, I'll set a range on this one, on the, or not on the user name, but on the user security ID, and then I will use the built-in function that will get my user security ID. So, so now I have a range of only the uh, permission sets that are on me. So I can then do a set filter on the role ID. So role ID is the permission set. Uh, this must make very much sense. It's called role. There are some inconsistencies here. Um, and let's say that uh, only the few. Let's call it that one. So now I'm just hard coding this, which you, know, you, say, oh, you shouldn't hard code stuff, but there's no difference in, in hard coding a field and hard coding a, a name here. So then I can say that if AC is empty, then you're not one of the few. Let's hit it. I'll hit uh, Control F5 so we don't get annoyed by the debugger. So let me go back here. Actions only for the few. Oh, <laughs> well, one. <laughs> Uh, we could probably fix the spelling mistake here. Oops, wow, what happened? So, I'm not able to run this. Uh, what I could do, of course, I could say that, well, maybe super is allowed to do this. So I add super to the filter. Um, but we could also try to go and then go to permission sets. Um, and then we create a new one called only the few. And that's kind of it. We don't need to add in permissions within it unless there are actually objects that are related to this. But in, in this case, we don't need to do that. So I created that one, but it's only created. So if I call the function, I'm still not in the clock. Now I can go to myself and I can add only the few to myself. And I go back to the customers and see, boom, now I can run the function. Um, so now this is integrated in the in the rest of permissions. Uh, you can assign it to a you can assign it to a group. You could do all those things uh, that normal permissions enable you to do without thinking. Oh, that's another thing that sits somewhere else. Um, and and you know, you this could be wrapped. You know, you could create a, we could create a code unit, uh, check my own permissions and then have a nice function uh, that is wrapped around this or how you want to do it. But in, in reality, this is all it takes to plug into the existing thing. I th and I think this is way more cleaner than adding fields to, because the problem is that it's not only user setup, right? 
that is that's only one spot what about warehouse uh, that's another warehouse employees that and that's another spot where i've seen this happen uh that suddenly this one gets more and more columns saying that can they do something can they do something else and so on um i think this one is way cleaner um but let me know in the comments below how you feel about this uh what you do in these cases and uh if you need more ale hacking tips, you know where to find them, right here. I'll see you there. Take care. Bye.